Welcome to more Doze Fun with TAC phones. This is episode number seven. Two wire to four wire hybrids and interfacing TA312s and TA838s. I hope you learned something. Welcome to more Doze Fun with TAC phones. We're going to talk more about what you can do with two wire to four wire hybrid converters. And this actually came up. Somebody actually emailed me a question that said, is it possible to use a TA838 in point-to-point -point mode over two-wire field wire? Well, it made me think, because normally no, because you have to have four wire, hence it's a four wire phone. And I started thinking about it and thought, you know what, there, it may be possible. And that's where I got out the two-wire to four-wire hybrid converters. This is the same converter that I used in the video where we actually remoted a... Uh, radio using a TA312 field phone to talk to the radio remotely over field wire so you can put it out somewhere. Um, and I have two of them so I thought, well, we can try it like this and see what happens. Um, basically, these were originally developed for a data communication. Basically, it allows you to take a two-wire home-style modem and put them on a four-wire leased circuit for a modem. That's what they do. They're completely passive. They have no batteries or anything in them. There's no adjustments. Um, I don't know if they make them anymore. These are several years old. I bought these on eBay. Um, black box, I originally marketed them. There may be some others out there. I haven't looked. I'd look online to see if you want to pick any of these up. They're handy little devices to have. So now what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to go four wire out of here into the converter over roughly a click of two wire field wire right here. Back out, change it back to four wire and talk to and ring call basically this TA341. This TA341 works in the same mode that the 838 does, four wire point to point, using 570 hertz signaling. Basically, the 838 replaced the TA341. So that's what it's. You can find a few of these on eBay. I bought these because I used both of them. I just wanted to have one. Okay. So now we'll go ahead. We'll call. We'll see what happens. A good sound. We got a ring going. Test one two three four five five four three two one. Test out. Test test. Test one two three four five five four three two one. Test out. Okay. Had audio going both ways. Now we'll go ahead. We'll, we'll reverse the call. We'll call from the three forty one to the eight thirty eight. Okay. Go off hook and do a quick audio check. Test one two three four five five four three two one. Test one two three four five five four three two one test out. Excellent. Okay, so it works. There's an option for it. If you happen to have some eight thirty eight and you want to run them in point to point mode, it is possible to run them over two wireless field wire using these two wire to four wire hybrid converters. Now I want to caution everybody on this. Um, you can't use these to connect a TA three twelve to an eight thirty eight to make ring calls back and forth. The 312 field phone and the 838 use completely different signaling format. Basically what the 341 or excuse me the 838 uses is when you it sends a ring signal, it doesn't send a high voltage, 90 volts ring signal like the hand crank on a it sends an actual tone. The phone on the other end sees that 570 hertz tone goes, oh there's a call coming in, so it rings. That's how it works. TA three twelve is just brute force. You crank on that crank, it sends roughly you know, 90 to 100 volts over two wires of field wire to ring a bell on the other side. If you were to put that inside here and run it, you would probably burn up the transformer that's inside here. So it's not going to work in that mode. Now, it would probably be possible if you wanted to put a 312 in right here on the two wire side and talk voice only and not call back and forth, that would work. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and I'm going to turn off and we'll reconfigure and we'll try and see if that works. Okay, I finished reconfiguring. I left the uh, two-wire to four-wire hybrid converter connected to the 838 in four-wire mode. I removed the uh, other one and the T341 and went two-wire straight from this through the field wire to the phone. Now, like I said, and do not crank on this phone to try to call this phone if you do this. You'll either burn this up or you'll make this unhappy inside here. So you don't want to do that. So we'll go ahead and do it. We'll try to make our test call. I know this is not going to ring. It's not going to ring right there, but test one, two, three. Test, test. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. We had good audio back and forth, so you can call back and forth and talk back and forth. Now, 
your next question is if you're going to be able to do that you can still do the TA838 to the 312 without the two wire to hybrid, four wire hybrid converter and I'll go ahead and I'll reconfigure and I'll show you that one next okay I just finished reconfiguring we're going to talk two wire straight all the way through from the TA838 to the TA312 um, you can only ring one direction though, and we'll talk about that here in a second. Um, the TA838 has got to be set on its uh, mode selector to DCLB, which is local battery. It's got to have batteries in it. That means it's using its own batteries to power the talk circuits. You've also got to connect the two wire only uh, terminal, which are labeled on here. TA312 is set up as normal for local battery with uh, batteries in it. Uh, I know that we can't call from here to here but we can call from the TA312 to the 838 and I'll demonstrate that right now. So here we go. Take the hand crank. The TA838 actually receives the, the call from the 312. We'll go ahead and go off hook and we'll talk. Test 1, 2, 3. Test, test. We'll pass loud and clear. Test 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1. Test out. Loud and clear both ways. This is an option if you wanted to do that. The only thing is you cannot call from this to this. It also takes the hybrid converter out of the circuit. I'll go ahead and finish up with this. Uh, these are handy if you want to get some of these. They actually have screws for connecting wires or the four wire modular RJ11 plugs if you wanted to go that route. Um, like I said, I bought these on eBay. I haven't looked to see if there's any more out there, but that might be a good source to try to find them. But uh, if you want to get them, they're pretty handy. And uh, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching episode 7. Send comments or questions to the email.